It's not every day that you get to work with a product that's as good for your business as it is for the environment. But that's what we have right here with this business savvy, eco-friendly food waste recycling system. Grind to Energy helps solve your operation's food waste challenges. It reduces odors and pest problems. It cuts down on all those trips out to the dumpster and it decreases the number of trash pickups. All good stuff, right? So here's where things get really impressive. Ready? Grind to Energy actually transforms food waste into renewable energy. Imagine that. How? Well. The food scraps that go into this system are ground into a slurry. No, not curry, slurry. The slurry is stored in this on-site holding tank. Oh, and get this, the Grind to Energy team completely monitors the level in the tank. I think they use satellites or cell towers or something. Once the tank is full, Grind to Energy transports said slurry to an anaerobic digester facility. The AD facility recycles the slurry by capturing and converting methane into renewable energy, either electricity, heat, or compressed natural gas. The rest is turned into beneficial fertilizer. Anyone for an eco recap? <laughs> Grind to Energy diverts food waste from landfills. It decreases levels of harmful methane released into the atmosphere. It converts food waste into both renewable energy and beneficial fertilizers. <laughs> I'd call that a win-win. Win-win. Intelligently designed for optimum efficiency, the Grind to Energy Food Waste Recycling System includes a processing table for prepping and mixing your food waste. A grinder, found here, transforms food waste into a slurry. Now, keep in mind, the grinder is not a disposer or a drain. And look, Ma, no blades. The grinder uses notches to process food waste. Over here is your trusty motor. Gearhead alert. You're looking at a 10 horsepower grinding unit that can process mountains of food waste in no time. Its unique grinding and moisture control results in a pumpable biomass, AKA slurry. This is your control center. See that yellow tank full light? That light indicates the tank is full and must be emptied. Call the Grind to Energy service team if you see this on and a pickup isn't scheduled. Your start button starts the system and controls the pump. Your stop button stops the operation. <laughs> now keep in mind, grind to energy automatically powers down if left unattended. Attention, don't use the emergency power disconnect to start and stop the system. It's just for service and troubleshooting. You don't need to worry about it. <laughs> Ah, this panel's just like mission control. Houston, we have renewable energy. Over here on the side of the box is the grinder reverse button. Use this when you have a grinder jam. This is the grinder power disconnect, the switch you always flip before sticking your hand in the grinder. Very important. Keep the splash guard in place when operating the system or things can get messy. Here is your spray hose, complete with nozzle, very effective for spraying. This is your pump, unsurpassed for pumping slurry into the tank. And over here is your tank. Grind to energy storage tanks are designed to be leak and odor free, eliminating unpleasant odors and unwanted attention from pests. These tanks are equipped with automated level detection and easy loadout ports. <laughs> Superior to a dumpster, wouldn't you agree? Finally, here's your food waste cart and your bins. Avoid overloading the two-tier cart with more than six food containers. Okay, that's the 50 cent tour. Now go make some renewable energy. Safety first, let's talk. Always wear protective eyewear and gloves. Wait, what? Yeah, you're right, these are much better. Now this is important. 
always turn off the grinder power disconnect before reaching in the grind chamber. <laughs> That's a mandatory, my friend. You don't want to end up like your eighth grade shop teacher. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Remember, there are no blades in the grinder, just notches, but they do pack a punch. Finally, see that yellow tank full light? That light indicates the tank is full and must be emptied. That is all. Stay safe, people. Please take a moment to read the three words you see here. Take your time. No hurry. Prep, mix, feed. These three words, my friends, are the secret to operating the grind to energy food waste recycling system optimally and efficiently. Let's break them down, shall we? Prep. What's it mean? Well, it means food waste in, contaminants out. Let's start with food waste. We're talking raw and cooked meats, fruits and vegetables, dairy, bread, seafood, and bones, yes, bones, all good. So are fats, oils, and grease as long as they are not hot. And before we start grinding, here's a professional prep tip. With pineapple tops, make additional cuts like this. Also, notice here, take your melon slices and quarter them, voila. Prep also means removing the stuff that doesn't belong, you know, like styrofoam, plastic bags, gotta go, paper, plastic, glass, rubber gloves and bands, see ya, metal or wood? I don't think so. Oyster, mussel, and clamshells, not gonna happen. And remember, no cleaners, no chemicals. Which brings us to mix. This is the fun part, taking all your prepped items and mixing them together. This table is designed to give you enough space to mix your food waste before feeding the grinder. So, spread things out. The key here is mixing wet items with dry items. Let's co-mingle, shall we? You know, so the wet and dry items can get to know each other intimately. We take wet items like fruits and veggies, which are 70% water, and add dry items to the mix like coffee grounds, bread, oatmeal, and eggshells. Why? Because it helps prevent clogs. And you don't want clogs. You want the system to keep running smoothly. Examine what you have on your table. If you have a surplus of dry food waste, reserve those scraps to mix with the wet items in your next batch. Finally, Take that food waste and toss it just like you toss a salad. <laughs> hey now. Feeding time! Safety glasses and gloves on? Check. Make sure the grind chamber is empty and the splash guard is in place. If leftover food scraps are present, turn off the grinder power disconnect and remove the scraps. Turn on the grinder power disconnect, press start, then stop after three seconds to drain excess liquid. Repeat until empty. If you find the grind chamber empty, make sure the splash guard is in place, press start, allow the system to run for at least six seconds to start the grinder, and you're good to go. Remember, never pour liquid onto the table before the grinder is running. Feed the grinder just like your mother taught you to feed yourself. Use your table manners. Don't cram everything in at once. This may cause an overload and trip the grinder. Feed the system one bite at a time. Nice and steady does the trick. If the grinder sounds muffled, let it process before feeding it more scraps. If it starts growling like a bear, call the National Park Service. Finished? Do the next guy a favor. Clear the table with your handy squeegee, rinse the table and splash guard with a little spray, and run the grinder briefly to drain the water. Press the stop button and call it a day. 
There you have it, prep, mix, feed. Three simple words that will go a long way to making your experience with the Grind to Energy food waste recycling system effortless. With a few simple steps, you can help transform food waste into a clean, renewable source of energy. Until next time, happy grinding. When it's time to clean and maintain the system, treat Grind to Energy with the respect it deserves. That means don't use chemicals or harsh cleaning solutions. Use only a mild soap to clean the processing table. Rinse residual food from the splash guard after each use. This prevents obnoxious odors and pesky fruit flies. Got him. Remember, Grind to Energy is not a drain. Don't rinse food collection containers at the processing table. Instead, wash your containers in a commercial dishwasher or pot sink. Finally, carts can be washed and wiped down. Look at that. Good as new.